everyone, it's Miss Robson here. Now this week your work is going to be all about this book, Rabbits Don't Lay Eggs, so I wanted to read it for you. I hope you enjoy it. Rabbits Don't Lay Eggs by Paula Metcalf. Rupert the rabbit was bored with his burrow. It was too dark and too lonely. Next door he could hear the happy sounds of the animals on the farm. Bah! Oink! That's where I want to live, Rupert thought. So he started to dig a tunnel. On the farm, Dora the duck had just made a new nest. It was perfect. She was settling down to preen her beautiful feathers when suddenly, pop! Rupert burst out of the ground. Who are you? shrieked Dora crossly, brushing herself down. Hello, I'm Rupert, he said. Can I live on your farm? Dora laughed. Everyone here has a job. Whatever could a rabbit do? Um, I could help keep things tidy, Rupert suggested. I'll start with that pile of rubbish. But Dora wasn't impressed with Rupert's tidying skills. That pile of rubbish was my nest, she snapped. Oops, muttered Rupert. Dora sighed. <sighs> then she had an idea. Maybe you could keep the birds away from the seeds like Scarecrow. Oh, I can do that, said Rupert. And he could. Until he discovered how delicious the seeds were. You're not supposed to eat them, shouted Dora. Next, they visited Cockerel, who showed off his magnificent call. cock a doodle doo Oh, I can do that, said Rupert excitedly. He took a deep breath, threw back his head and shouted, cock a doodle doo loo, -loo. How ridiculous, laughed Cockerel. Rabbits can't cock a doodle do. Rupert tried again. Socky poodle poo. Dora sighed a big sigh. Let's try something else, she said. What do you do on the farm, Dora? asked Rupert. I'll show you, she smiled. Dora nestled down it and in moments she laid a beautiful blue egg. Wow, gasped Rupert. I wonder if I can do that. Rupert crouched down and began to push, but no egg appeared. So he pushed some more and finally out popped a small, perfectly round. Oh, cried Dora, that is not an egg. You're right, said Rupert glumly. Rabbits don't lay eggs. Look, Rupert, said Dora, you can sleep in the barn tonight. But you must find a job you can do if you want to stay for good. Now if you'll excuse me, she added, I have a nest to rebuild. The other animals tried to cheer up Rupert with some food. I don't mean to be rude, said Rupert, but why eat hay when there's a field of delicious carrots and vegetables over there? We can't get past the fence, explained Donkey. Rupert giggled. Now I can do that, he said. Watch. At this time, he was right. He disappeared under the fence in a cloud of soil. Minutes later, Rupert returned, loaded with juicy carrots. Hooray, cheered the animals. Maybe Dora will let me stay now, said Rupert hopefully. Donkey shook his head. We can't tell her we've eaten the farmer's vegetables. They tried to think of another job for Rupert, but their tummies were so full. And before they'd even finished the last carrot, everyone fell fast asleep. Soon it was morning. Cock-a-doodle-doo, screeched Cockerel. But in the barn, nobody stirred. What a lazy bunch thought Dora, marching in to wake them. Suddenly she stopped. She stared straight at Rupert. What is that? she demanded, pointing at the carrot underneath him. 
She picked it up and examined it carefully. Unless I'm very much mistaken, said Dora, you have laid a carrot. How amazing! All the animals giggled. Oh, Rupert, smiled Dora, you've found a job. So Rupert moved in and was very happy on the farm. The animals were happy too, because Rupert brought them fresh carrots every night. Even Dora was happy. Especially when she discovered that carrots weren't the only thing that Rupert could lay. I really hope you enjoyed that story and I hope you enjoy completing all of the tasks this week. Remember to take care, keep safe and stay at home and hopefully we will see you soon. Miss you lots. Bye.